guys, for today's video, I wanted to talk a little bit more about my son. I've told you guys a lot of his experiences, and I have many more experiences of his that I'm going to share with you eventually, but on this channel, I've already shared his first experience ever um, was actually seeing the baby that I did with the baby's head on the area where the shadow figure was. He seen that when he was two, but I didn't really think much of it, and then... When he was three, the day after my dad passed away, he saw um, the demon. He's the one that identified that there was a demon inside this house, and it ended up being true. And then secondly that day, just simultaneously, next he saw Michael the Archangel, which he had no prior knowledge of. And then third that day, he actually saw my dad. So it was really interesting. He was asking why my dad could go through the wall, why my dad was wearing different clothes. It's just a huge story. I have a video up about that if you want to go check that out. But that was one of his experiences, and I've shared his stick man experience and his sharp bubbles and things like that on this channel already. So I thought I would just talk about something that I've been thinking about, and that's about the story about when he was born. He had to be taken a day early, but anyway, his name is Raiden, and I've had this name picked out since I was really young. I was in a parenting class, I think in eighth grade. I don't know why they make you take parenting in eighth grade, but that's when I had to take the parenting class here. And when we did take that class, we had to name our baby. And every project we ever did, I would name it Raiden. And I have those projects somewhere in storage where it has that name on it way before Raiden was even thought of. So, once he was born and his name was Raiden, um, I was happy. That's just what I've always dreamed of having was a little boy named Raiden. And sure enough, I did. The interesting thing about this story, though, was I had no knowledge of this name before. I kind of made it up in my head, even though I found out it existed later on through, like, Mortal Kombat. But in my head, I got the name from the name Aiden, but it was so common in my area, I wanted to make it a little more unique, so I added an R to it to make it Raiden. But anyway, this name means God of Thunder, which I did not know until later on. But ironically my son was born during a thunderstorm. They had to take him a day early due to complications, so all of a sudden when they decided to take him, this huge thunderstorm broke out and everybody was freaking out because his name means God of Thunder. We'd already talked about his name and everything and all the nurses were freaking out, but the second that he was born, the power turned off um, in the whole hospital. All the power shut down and everybody's just freaking out. Like, he, he was called the Thunder Baby. He's known as the Thunder Baby at the hospital he was born at. But I just found this really interesting because all the nurses were, like, freaking out that this happened. I know it's probably completely coincidental. It's just really neat that it happened the way it did and his name means God of Thunder. But the really interesting thing was that someone used to tell me all the time that because of the way he was born and the way his name means that and he was born during a thunderstorm, that he was going to be really special and have special abilities. And you know, I just kind of brushed that off. I was like, oh cool, thank you, you know, and just accepting the advice they were giving me. But I never thought much of it. But now that I've been thinking, he has so many gifts. Like, if you guys hear the stories later on that I'm going to tell you, they just blow my mind. He, he blows my mind every single day. He just, I don't know, he knows so much that he shouldn't. He's just wise beyond his years. And I learned from him so much, and I, I don't know, even though I know a lot about the paranormal, I learn a lot from him, and from looking up experiences he's had to try to find similar reports of experiences, but I just thought this was really interesting and really intriguing, and like I said, I have no idea if it has any power behind it, if it really means anything, but I just found it ironic that that all happened. Somebody told me that he was going to be special and have special abilities and to me he does he he amazes me every day in unique ways ways that no other kid has ever spoken to me or i've never heard them speak of things even though all children i think are very very susceptible to the paranormal and i think they see a lot more than we do just because they're so open-minded and they've not been corrupted to think that it's so wrong if you know what i mean like I don't know. But society hasn't played their part on letting them know that they shouldn't or that's not a good idea to see those things. So a lot of kids will not speak of what they see or hear just 
based on the things that they've been brought up. I don't encourage anything in the paranormal with my son, but I'm very open when he wants to tell me something, and I just listen to what he has to say. But I just thought this was really interesting, and I hope you guys enjoyed this story. I just found it really interesting, and I thought you guys would too. It's just something really neat to think about, and even though it might have been a full-blown coincidence, it's just really neat how it happened, and I think it makes a great story. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you've not already. I'll be posting new videos every Wednesday and Sunday. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are the best. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.